here's here's some uh, prayer mistakes we make. All right, we're asking God. James one five and others tell us to seek Him, ask Him for wisdom, and He'll give it to you. The next part, James one six says, you have to believe He actually answers you. Go read it for yourself. It's super cool the way it breaks it down. When you pray for wisdom, God, you see my financial situation and leave it open ended. A lot of times we'll pray. God, do you want me to start a drop shipping business or a client based business? Drop shipping is good for these reasons. And here's why a client based business, I can make more money. And here's the, he might have a third option. Right. It just keeps going. We will, we will pray in these ways where we're trying to, we're basically, what we're doing is just talking ourselves in or out of something, mm -hmm. but we're calling it prayer. God, you see what's up? What do I do? And then how I, how I do it, it's usually dark, it's quiet. And then, I write the first thought that comes to my mind. The first thought, I wanna say always, for the sake of this interview, I'll say almost always, exactly what you're supposed to do. The second thought will tell you why that wouldn't work. And in Mark four, the Bible talks about this, this scripture, this parable of the soil. And what it says is the sower, someone comes out to sow the seed, which is God's word. And then it'll say that the enemy will come immediately to try to steal that seed, like a bird picking a seed off of the path. And that's what I think of when it's like, Man, I prayed, I got a thought with instruction attached. And then immediately it was like, well, I can't do that because like I don't have a college degree. So that must not have been God. Well, I can't do that because I'm not good on camera and he told me to start a YouTube channel. So like he knows I'm an introvert. So like that, okay, that obviously wasn't God. That was, okay, I don't know. You asked a question and you got to an answer. That's exactly what James 1, 5 says will happen. I have this conversation many times in our program where people will say, I asked God, I didn't hear anything. 100% of the time, it just happened to you, 100% of the time. I'll ask a few more questions, and then they'll say, well, when I pray, I actually do get this thought or impression, but obviously I'd have to make some more money first or do this other thing before that would happen. So every single time it proves true they got an answer, but they talked themselves out of it, every time. Mm -hmm. Or they let the enemy talk them out of it, is what I believe really happens. However you slice it, you're getting an answer when you pray, and then you come up with logic sometimes and say why it wouldn't work. And then you say, I guess God didn't answer me because you think and he's going to answer a certain way. And actually what's happening here is like, it's just a lack of faith and a lack of trust. He wants you to win. I have kids. Guess what? I want them to win. They come to me and they ask me for wisdom on things. Do you think I withhold it from them? Do you think I, I give them bad advice because I want them to lose to learn a lesson or something? No, oh, I instruct them on how to be successful. I give them wisdom. That's how our heavenly father is. It's back to those money beliefs. It's back to those money issues. Look, money is important. It's just not the number one thing in our lives, but it is important. Yeah. And so when our heart is focused on God and we're seeking him first, this is what Matthew 6, 33 is talking about. When you seek him first, it says he will add all the things you need to you. It's what we've been talking about this whole time. It's just reversing the order. We keep seeking the things and seeking the money and then wondering why our lives aren't great and wonder it hasn't really worked in the last 30 years. Why do I keep doing it? Just seeking the things, seeking the stuff, looking to it for security, looking to the stuff for happiness. Just, hey, Denzel, just show me what business to start. Just tell me what's working now. Yeah. Do all the thinking for me. Uh -huh. And here's the, here's the problem with that question. And look, I'm not knocking anybody to ask that question. I've asked that question. I've got to ask to me a ton of times. It, that part doesn't, if you're asking that question, I think you kind of mentioned this. If you're asking that question, you're thinking about the whole thing incorrectly because the person who asks that question won't even put in the effort to make that thing work because that thing is going to take time, effort, and energy to get it working. If Denzel says you should start a drop shipping business that sells podcast microphones, well, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a lot of work to get that thing to work, to get that thing to be successful. Right. So you might as well just go to God and say, God, what do you want me to work on? What do you want me to go do? What do you want me to build? What's the way for increase to come into my life? He'll tell you. And it might be an idea that you th that wouldn't work. But if the master tells you, I believe it'll work. And I'll say this too. The answer you're going to receive is something you've already somewhat thought about. It's already somewhat in your wheelhouse. So like with Denzel, since a kid, he's been interested in being successful with finances. You said, I was good at money since I was a kid. What you really meant is was disciplined and a forward thinker. That's lacking in a lot of people today is being disciplined and a forward thinker. Most of us aren't disciplined and we only think about right now. God will help us with all of these things. When like look at Denzel now and the progression of his life, the, that thing that was interesting to him as a kid, that's God just those seeds 
God was sowing those seeds. He was getting them on the right path, getting them in the right direction. What he's done well that most of us haven't is he didn't cover it up with all these money fears and mammon and all this stuff that most people get caught in. He's maybe dealt with some of it, but for the most part, he's kept a straight path on what God has put on his heart to do. And now he's using his passion, his skill set for his purpose. It's a great way to live. That's available to anybody who seeks him first. 